What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? And today, I got another complex model. So let's get right into it. Let me pull up the PDF. Ooh, this one looks bad. Okay, let me see. So our A, B, C. Let me see, A, B. Okay, okay. 35 degrees. Okay, so we got our A, B, and C. It's gonna be millimeters, and then it gives our density. So we can start building. File, new. Our millimeter file. And then this one, we're gonna do the equations right away. So our A is 170. Our B, 156. And then our C This is going to be 35. Let's press OK. We're going to go. Let's see where our X, Y, and Z is at. So our Z is in the correct direction. Our Y is going up. Our X is going to the right. And it seems to be the center of the circle. So we're going to use that as the origin. Let's hide all these. Let's just quickly draw up those two cylindrical pieces. So the outer one's 80 and the inner one's 60. 80 and then 60. There you go. Okay, let's go to extrude boss. Mid plane. And this one's going to be our 64 millimeters, I believe. 64. Check this out real quick. 64 millimeters. It says a 2015. Yep, yep, yep. Actually, we could continue with the rest of the sketch. Let's try that. Control 8 to make it normal. Let's put some center lines just to help us draw this out. This value here is going to be our equals C value. It's okay. Does it say if this is, yeah, it's center line, center line, offset. Okay, got it. Right here. Oops. Probably good have done this as a thicken, but eh. I'll try it this way. Hello. Go to mirror here. Mirror about here. There we go. This one we're just gonna go straight up. Do, 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 do. Okay. So here is going to be 13 millimeters. Here it's going to be 20. Here it's going to be another 20. And then from here to the center, that one's going to be our A. And then here to this center can be our B. And then here to this portion here be 118. 
There we go. Let me quickly reference it to make sure I didn't miss anything. So we got that C, A, B in there. Now, mid plane 64. Is that all I need? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to use this edge and this edge uh, as a center line to do the rest of the geometry. And you guys will see what I mean. I won't actually make it center line, but these are actually technically the centers of our circle. It just makes it easier to draw up. Oh, let's do some trimming. Here, here. There you go. Street boss. Mid plane. 64. There we go. And then let us produce the rest of the model. So here we actually have our center. We just draw a circle for this one. We don't do the arc. Because it's done like a full round, but that makes it a little bit easier to get the center of that. Then over here, we actually have like a slot feature at the center. This is the center of the slot. I don't actually know how far wide it goes, but it's supposed to be 50 to 50. There you go. This slot has a radius 20 here. There you go. Shoot boss that. Let's cut some holes now. First hole we're going to cut is here. And then there's another one going here, which I could probably cut at the same time. Also gives us our center. This one's gonna be 75. And then our diameter for the top hole, 15. Diameter for the secondary hole, 15 as well. Go to extrude cut through all. It's okay. Oops. Let's press through both. There we go. Now that we have our center here, it'll be easier to get our circle for our array here. So for construction, it's gonna be our rotation, which is gonna be 40. And then our tiny circles here. Can be five millimeters. Make shoot cut through all. Let's grab this one. Let's grab our tool here, circular pattern. Our center axes. I mean the axes. There's eight. So eight equal spacing. That's okay. There we go. There's our array. Then let's cut out this slot feature here. So we can actually make it to the center. I don't think I really made that to the center. Center. For center. The width of this slot is going to be 15. Extrude cut. Through up, oh, there we go. <laughs> Let me give it a once look through. It feels like I'm missing something, but I don't think so. It looks good. Go to our evaluate mass properties. Let's change the uh, the mass of this. So custom properties. Two decimal places. It's gonna be zero zero. Eight five. Yep. There we go. 
And let's go ahead and save this. So we're going to save this one as T2. Let's save this one as T2.4.1. Press save. Okay. So this is going to be our first configuration. Oops. Let's go to our configurator here. It's going to be T2.4.1. Add configuration. T2.4.1. It's okay. And then we're going to change our equations folder. Manage equations. Let's check out that second part. So it's be 180, 145, 40. Huh, interesting. So it actually asks us to change the density. We could do that as well. Okay, let's go to our manage equations. We're going to change ours. It's going to be this configuration. Let's delete what's in there. It's going to be 180. Enter. Second one, this configuration. So it's going to be 170. Press enter. Oops. Manage equations. This configuration. This one's going to be 40. Yeah, 40. Press enter. Press OK. We don't need the millimeters in there. OK, there we go. Make sure our actual things change. 170, 180. Okay, looks all good. And then we want to go to our mass properties. For some reason, this one changes. I don't think that's correct in the document. But let's just change it for change sake. And that looks all good. So, yeah, looks pretty good, guys. So pretty complex part. Relatively okay. I like that transformation. It's like a bending bracket. <laughs> okay, let me show you something really cool. Whee! If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will answer as a reply comment or as a short video between the courses that help out any others who probably have the same question as you. Feedback and video suggestions are appreciated and helps me to improve the design of the content for you all to better enjoy and learn. Thank you for watching and all of you have my greatest respects for pursuing to learn new great things.